Hey guys, today I will show you how to use lossless scaling in all the FromSoft games. If you want to go to a specific game then see this timestamp. In Elden Ring, if you always get 60 FPS, then skip to 1 minute 45. Before using lossless scaling we need to see our FPS. If you use Nvidia press Ctrl plus R to get a FPS counter. You can see there is a FPS counter in the top left. If you use AMD then click on the first link in the description. After you have the FPS counter, play for 10 minutes and track your average FPS while playing. Find out what your average FPS is, as it will be important. After you have found out your average FPS, exit the game. In desktop, right click, then select NVIDIA control panel. Go to Manage 3D Settings, then Program Settings. Click on Add. Now select Elden Ring. If you don't see Elden Ring then click on Browse. Go to where Elden Ring is located and select EldenRing.x. Now go down until you find Max Frame Limiter. Select Max Frame Rate and enable it. Now, in the right side, enter your average FPS, I got 35 so I will put 35 FPS. Click on apply and you are done. If you have an AMD card, I will post a link on how to cap FPS in AMD. For the next step, if you only have a 60Hz monitor then skip to 2 minutes. Right click on desktop and select display settings. Go to advanced display. Now change your hertz. Select 120 Hz, but if you don't have 120 Hz then choose 75 Hz. Close this window and open Elden Ring again. Now when you look at the FPS counter, you can see it is capped at 35 FPS. For lossless scaling to work, go to settings, then graphics settings. In screen mode, make sure borderless windowed is selected for lossless scaling to work. Now open lossless scaling. Before we change any settings, let's make a new profile. Let's rename it, Elden Ring. And click add. Now in the Elden Ring profile, follow the steps as I have shown for the best settings in lossless scaling. For Elden Ring, choose 2x, instead of 3x. Set Sync Mode to Off. If you have NVIDIA put 1, but if you have AMD put 3. After all the settings have been applied, click on Scale, and go back to Game. Wait a couple of seconds for lossless scaling to activate. You can see lossless scaling has started to work, and my FPS has doubled from 35 FPS to almost 70 FPS. You can also see lossless scaling has removed the 60 FPS cap and I can play above 60 FPS now. Enjoy some Elden Ring gameplay. You can even see lossless scaling work in other regions like Sealand, where I get above 60 FPS. In Sekiro, if you get 60 FPS then skip to 5 minutes 47. Before using lossless scaling, we need to find out our average FPS. If you have a Nvidia card press Alt plus R to get a FPS counter. If you have an AMD card, click on the first link in the description. You can see we have a FPS counter in the top left. Now play for 10 minutes and track how much average FPS you get. Do everything from fighting bosses, to random enemies, to see how much average FPS you get as this will be important. After you have found your average FPS, exit the game.
In Desktop, right-click, then select NVIDIA Control Panel. Go to Manage 3D Settings, then Program Settings. Click on Add. Then select Sekiro. If you cannot find Sekiro, click on Browse. Go to where your Sekiro is located, then click on Sekiro.x. After Sekiro is selected, go down until you find Max Frame Rate. Enable this setting, and in the right enter your average FPS. Since I get 55 average FPS, I will put 55. Now click on Apply, and go back to Desktop. For this next step, if you only have a 60Hz monitor, then skip to 6 minutes 10. Right click then select Display Settings. Now click on Advanced Display. Now select your Hertz as 120. If you do not have 120 then select 75 Hertz. Now exit this and go back to Sekiro. Now in Sekiro there is an FPS cap. Before using lossless scaling we need to go to settings. Go to graphics setting, then screen mode. Select windowed, or lossless scaling will not work. Now open lossless scaling. Before making any changes, let's make a new profile for Sekiro. Put the name as Sekiro. Then press add. Now follow the same steps as shown for the best settings for Sekiro. For Sekiro always use 2x instead of 3x. Make sure performance is enabled. Sync mode should be set to off instead of default. For max frame latency, put 1 if you have NVIDIA. Or put 3 if you have AMD. After all the settings have been applied, click on scale and then go back to game. Wait for a couple of seconds and you will see lossless scaling working. You can see lossless scaling has been activated. In our FPS counter we can see, I went from 50 FPS to 80 FPS. Lossless scaling has given me a 30 FPS boost, and I can now play above 60 FPS as well. Enjoy some Sekiro gameplay. In Dark Souls before using lossless scaling we need to find out our FPS. If you have a NVIDIA card, press out, plus R to get an FPS counter. You can see we got an FPS counter in the top left. If you have an AMD card go to the first link in the description. Now play the game for 10 minutes and track how much FPS you get. Find out your average FPS, as your average FPS will be important for later. After you have found your average FPS, exit the game. In Desktop, right-click, then select NVIDIA Control Panel. Go to Manage 3D Settings, then Program Settings. Now click on Add. Now select Dark Souls 3. If you cannot find Dark Souls then click on Browse. Go to where Dark Souls is located in your PC and select DarkSouls.exe. After Dark Souls has been selected, go down until you find Max Frame Rate. Enable this setting, and in the right enter your average FPS. Since my average FPS is 40 I will put 40. After you have done that, click on Apply. If you have an AMD card, go to the second link in the description. After you have applied, go back to desktop. Right click, then select display settings. Click on advanced display. 
Select 120 Hz. If you do not have 120, then select 75 Hz. After that is done, go back to Dark Souls. Now, you can see that our FPS has been capped at our average FPS. Before using lossless scaling, go back to settings. Go to graphics settings, then screen mode. Make sure windowed is selected or it will not work. Now that you are in windowed, you can finally use lossless scaling. Before applying any settings let's create a new profile for Dark Souls. Let's name it Dark Souls and click Add. Now follow the steps as I have shown for the best settings for Dark Souls 3. Select 2x, as 3x is way too laggy to be enjoyable. Enable Performance Mode. For Sync Mode, set it to Off instead of Default. For Max Frame Latency, if you have NVIDIA put it as 1, if you have AMD put it as 3. Enable Draw FPS. After you have applied the best settings, click on Scale and go back to Game. Give lossless scaling a couple of seconds to activate. When you see the FPS counter glitch, that is the indicator lossless scaling has started to work. In the FPS counter, you can see I went from 40 FPS to 80 FPS. Lossless scaling has doubled my FPS for free. Enjoy this sick Dark Souls gameplay. In Armored Core 6, we first need to find out our average FPS. If you have a NVIDIA card, press out, plus R to get a FPS counter. You can see in the top left, that I have an FPS counter. If you have an AMD card, click on the first link in the description for the FPS counter. Once you have a FPS counter, play for 10 minutes, and find out your average FPS. Finding your average FPS will be important for later. Play one full mission with the FPS counter to see how much average FPS you get. After you have found your average FPS go to system, then graphics settings. Go to screen mode. Make sure you have selected borderless window or lossless scaling will not work. If yours average FPS is 60, then set the frame limit to 60 FPS and skip to 15 minute 46. If your average FPS is less than 60 FPS, then follow these steps. Exit the game and go back to desktop. In desktop, right click, then select NVIDIA control panel. Go to manage 3D settings, then program settings. Click on 
add. Select Armored Core 6. If you do not see it, click on Browse. Go to where Armored Core 6 is located on your PC, then select Armored Core 6X. After Armored Core is selected, go down until you see max frame rate. Enable it and in the right, enter your average FPS. Since my average FPS was 45, I will put 45 FPS. Click on OK, then press Apply. If you have an AMD card, go to the second link in the description to find how to cap FPS. For the next step, if you only have a 60Hz monitor, skip to 16 minute. In desktop, right click, then select display settings. Click on advanced display. Now select 120Hz. If you do not have 120, then select 75Hz. After selecting your Hz, go back to Armored Core 6. Now in the FPS counter, you can see it has been capped. Now we can finally go to lossless scaling. First open lossless scaling. Before changing any settings, let's make a new profile for Armored Core 6. Name it as Armored Core 6, then click Add. Now follow the steps as shown. These are the best settings for Armored Core 6. For Armored Core 6, 2x is recommended. But if you want more FPS, you can use 3x, but input lag will increase. Enable Performance Mode. For Sync put it in Off, instead of Default. For Max Frame Latency, if you have NVIDIA put it as 1, if you have AMD put it as 3. Enable Draw FPS. After all the settings have been applied, Click on scale and go back to game. Wait some time for lossless scaling to activate. Now you can see lossless scaling has started to work. In the FPS counter I get double of my average FPS. Enjoy this cool mini boss battle with the lossless scaling enabled. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe because I spend way too much time on this video. Hope this guide helped you.